And this is the second episode for the lecture series uh, entitled Lin Law Family, The Journey Home, Tracing Hope Lin's Roots in Nan'an, Fujian. The tombstone of Lin Lo and his two, uh, his two wife records his ancestral place at Nan'an, and it is a county and the administration of Quanzhou, Fujian. And this is name of his home village, Hopu. The lettering at the front of the tablet of Ling Lo and his first wife shows that um, he was the 12th generation of the Lin clan. In the Hopu village of Nan'an, most of the villagers have the surname of Lin. They claim that they have the same forefather, Bai Ling Gong, uh, in Mandarin is Master Bai Ling. It is said that during the Ming Dynasty, the forefather, Kai Ji Zhu, Bai Ling, migrated from Zhangzhou to Nan'an and settled down in Hopu village. Zhangzhou uh, is another city in southern Fujian. This family tree shows the genealogy of Hopu Lin. Um, Bai Ling Gong, uh, Master Bai Ling, has two sons. The first son is Sou Jin and the second son is uh, Sou Rong. Why Bai Ling and his second son later moved back to Zhangzhou, the first son, Shou Jing, stayed in Hopu, where he grew his family. His son, the third generation of Hopu Ling, Yang Lui, had six sons uh, that were counted as the six branches of uh, Hopu Ling. Um, start from the Zhang Feng, the first branch, uh, Peng Feng. Uh, the second branch, uh, third branch, fourth branch, fifth branch, and sixth branch. Uh, Lin Lok was from the fourth um, branch of Hopu Lin. Counted from Bai Lin, Lin Lok was the 12th generation of Hopu Lin. And this is why on his tablet, who, uh, he was respected as the 12th generation of Lin clan. And Hopu Lin has uh, 25 Chinese characters um, given by the ancestor. Um, following this sequence, each generation was assigned it with one character that uh, will be used as the middle character of their names. For 12th generation, the given middle character was Sun. Um, so Lin Lok's claim name was uh, Lin Sun Lu. In the ancestral halls renovated with the general support from him, the name of Ling Sun Lu, as you can see here, was recorded on the stone plug as this photo shows. Interesting to highlight that uh, when some characters were pronounced in Hokkien, they were misunderstood as different Chinese characters. Uh, for example, uh, the middle character for the uh, 16th generation is Feng. Uh, Feng in Hokkien sounds like Hong. So the, uh, when the Hong was written in Mandarin, it became the Feng. Uh, so for the descendants of this generation, some use the character of Feng, and some used Feng. Why Lin Lok came to Singapore, he created two characters for his descendants. And these two characters are uh, Qing, uh, means Jing Go, and Guo is a Jade. Um, Guo was also written as um, G I O K because Chinese names were Romanized during the colonial period in Singapore, that led to many different renderings based on dialect pronunciations. Lin Lo's sons and some grandsons had uh, two family names. This is why Ling Bo Zhen was recorded as Kim Sim at the tombstones and tablets for his parents. Ling Lo's grandchildren had got in their names, regardless genders. Many of Ling Lo's sons had substituted names that adopted the character of uh, Xuan uh, in Hokkien Hin. To research on Ling Lo family, uh, it is necessary to have some idea of the various names of Ling Lo family members, they use it um, in different events. And this is a location map of Hopu Nan'an. Hopu now is part of the Mansan Hong village in Shenxing Tong, Nan'an. And this red line 
shows the boundary of um, Nan'an, a county level, now it's a county level city in Quanzhou. And um, this is Xiamen, um, this is Quanzhou, and um, Zhangzhou is around here. To, ask, to assess Hopu, you can either fly to the Jingjiang Airport near Quanzhou or Xiamen Airport. Now it's quite convenient to get to Hopu village. But in old days, um, as you can see on the map, uh, it was a quite remote uh, inland village. And this is a satellite map we used to record our survey in Hopu, Nan'an. And this area was called as Hopu by the locals. Now it's the lesser highway cutting through this village. According to our survey, uh, many remanded uh, historical buildings and infrastructure in Hopu were somehow related to Ling Lo, um, who was the richest and most successful overseas Chinese in this village. This is the ancestral house of the fourth branch of Hopu Ling, uh, Hopu Ling Si Fang. It is believed that Ling Lo was living in this house before heading for Nanyang. This one um, is the ancestral house of Ling Lo family built by Ling Lo after he became rich in Nanyang. This one is the famous uh, Ling Lo 99 room house. And this is a bird eye view of the ancestral house of the fourth branch of Hopu Ling. Um, Ling Lo was probably born here. The locals say that uh, he and his brother inherited one room uh, in this building complex um, because they are the uh, descendants of the fourth branch of Ho Hu Ling. Um, we, architectural historian, we call this kind of building as five bay, two courtyard, uh, three block, and two annex uh, buildings. Um, in Chinese, it's the Wu Kai Jian, Liang Jing, San Luo, Shuang Hu Chuo. And this is the top view, shows the uh, ancestral house of the fourth uh, branch of Hopo Ling and its surrounding. And not very far from this house uh, is the ancestral house of uh, Lin Lo family. Um, at the back of these two houses is a creek and called it Tanxi. Having water body close to house uh, was considered as a good feng shui to the family. This is the top view, shows the ancestral house of uh, Lin Lo family. The building complex consists of a main building here, and the study room, and the gardens here. Unfortunately, in the 1980s, the left behind Lin Lo family members sold this estate to other people who built new houses um, in the side of the former garden and study room. And the third block of the main building uh, also collapsed. This photo shows the front view of the ancestral house of Ling Lo family. Um, it is also the five bay, um, two courtyard, three block, two annex buildings. Looking from outside, it is a typical traditional, Chinese, uh, traditional southern Fujian style house. But once you get closer to the house and looking at the uh, building details, um, you will be impressed with the intricate carving and excellent craftsmanship uh, this house has. This is the porch of the building, a uh, local view called Tasso. Around the main gate is the main gate are the stone panels. Over it, you will see a couplet. Uh, this is a couplet. Uh, what, uh, this is a detail of the couplet. And one line was composed with Yun. Uh, this is Yun, to Yun here, a cloud. Um, uh, Yun is the middle character of Ling Lo's self styled name. And the other line uh, was composed with uh, Long, the dragon. That's the third character of his um, self styled name, Ling Yun Long. So, uh, reading, looking at the conflict, you will immediately know that um, the owner of the house was Ling Yun Long, Ling Lo. Also, uh, we haven't figured out the exact building year of this house. I guess that uh, it was built at the turn of uh, 20th century. 
this house uh, may be the wedding house for his marriage to his first wife, Madame Dang. Um, local people say that uh, she was from a rich family in southern Fujian. This house was a typical example of corresponding womanship. That means um, at the time, two group of craftsmen were uh, employed to work on the same building. They were assigned to work on the um, different half of the building um, uh, around the axis. In that way, these two group of craftsmen compete with each other and to shoot their uh, skills. The extraordinary uh, craftsmanship um, founded on the jito. Uh, this is a jito means a side room. Uh, the ceiling of the jito gave me an impression that uh, Lin Lok used the building of this house as an opportunity to select and recruit top craftsmen. Uh, actually, it is said that uh, Lin Lok brought many people from Fujian to Singapore to work for him. In southern Fujian, that's a saying that uh, you may have the same fortune as Lin Lok had, but may not have a house as his. This saying refers to the famous Lin Lok 99 room house. Uh, this 99 room house uh, together with the ancestral house of Lin Lok family were gathered as the important conserved heritage of China in 2013. And this is the bird eye view of the 99 room house. Um, facing the south, um, this building complex uh, consists of four blocks and separated by uh, so called the fine land, uh, from the west to east, at the uh, uh, ancestral hall here, uh, the main block and the stacked and block, and the private school here. This is a fun view of the ancestral hall of the Lin-Lo family. And this is the entrance to the, uh, this tree bay, one courtyard, two block uh, building. And for this block, uh, it has only one annex uh, on this side. And this is the guard house um, to this uh, building complex and guarding the main gate uh, to the, this building complex. And the third generation of Lin Lo family was taught that um, their family has a castle in Hopu village. Um, why this uh, building complex was called as castle? Uh, it is because of the well-equipped uh, defensive systems um, it has. The rich overseas Chinese families were often attacked by bandits in early days. In the main hall of the ancestral hall, right at the center was an altar in which many tablets uh, were worshipped. Uh, unfortunately, during the Cultural Revolution, all of these um, tablets were demolished. And you can, now you can still consider a uh, marks of the slogans of that particular uh, historical period. Over the two side walls, you can see the uh, decorative tower here and the four huge Chinese characters on, on the wall. The floor uh, was also covered uh, with uh, towers. This photo um, of the decorative towers used on the wall of the ancestral hall of the Ling Lo 99 room house. And this photo shows the same towers used in Tian Ho King Temple, Singapore. And Tian Ho King, went through a large-scale renovation in 1906, and the decorative towers and falling towers were added um, during that period of time. The same towers founded in Lin Lo 99 room house shows Lin Lo's favor on this kind of decoration. He brought this expensive building materials from Singapore to Hongpu village for um, his family house. This photo shows the uh, flooring towers in the ancestral hall of Ling Lok 99 room house. And this one shows, the ha uh, shows those used in Tian Ho King Temple, Singapore. And um, they were arranged to form um, different patterns, but the materials were the same. The four characters are written on the side 
side wall of the ancestral hall of Ling Lo, 99 Lung House, actually was the same as those used in Kulong Town, Singapore, um, founded by Ling Lo. Uh, this is Zhong uh, means the loyalty, and Lian means uh, chastity. Um, the similarity of uh, declaration in Ling Lo, 99 Lung House, and the historical buildings in Singapore shows the uh, mutual cultural exchanges between Singapore and China at that time. This is a front view of the main block. Uh, it is a five bay, uh, one courtyard, two block, and two annex building. I guess Lin Lo and his wives were staying in this block. Um, it is pity that um, this block was also sold to other people in the 19. And 80s. This photo shows the courtyard of this block, and at the center is the um, courtyard. And this is the jito, the side room at uh, both sides. Facing the courtyard is the main hall of this block. Um, you can see a couplet um, on these two uh, pillars. The close up uh, of the couplet shows that uh, the first character of these two lines. Uh, one is uh, Ding, uh, Ting, and the other is Xing uh, in Hokkien, Hing. They are, these are the names of Ling Lo family estate in Singapore, Ting Hing uh, Garden, Ding Xing Yuan. Um, it is obvious that uh, Ling Lo wanted his family in Hopu to know and to remember that um, they had another room, another home in Singapore. This is a beautiful view of the static block and imagery is yellow. Um, we use um, this photo as the cover image for the book published in 2018. This site has a very good uh, feng shui with mountains um, at the back and water a pond um, in the form. I believe that uh, Lin Bo Xian and other uh, younger uh, members uh, of the Lo family were all living in this block. At the second level of this second uh, block, the two walls of the main hall recorded Ling Lo's wishes and instructions to, this, uh, to his uh, descendants in July 1908. So that's the year probably uh, this block was completed. These uh, maxims were modeled after rows of uh, Zhu Bo Lu. Next to this uh, static block, this static block was the private school uh, called Yang Hao Zai. The main entrance uh, is from here. Uh, this is from Kotya, leading to the front block. And at the center is the Kotya. This is a red block uh, already collapsed. And it used to have two stories here, and each level had three big uh, classrooms. This private school also uh, provided accommodation for teachers, and the teachers uh, were living here. And this is a side entrance to the school. Uh, the school has a kitchen and canteen here. The school also had a spot field um, on the open space. It was in Yang Hao Zai. Um, this private school set up by Ling Lo, uh, Ling Bo Sen and other uh, young family members uh, received the uh, primary education. And our research on Ling Lo family traces and records the birth years and birthplaces of Ling Lo's descendants. That's very important because it allowed us to understand the moment of Ling Lo and, and, the, and the other family members. In fact, um, Pet Ha, Bo Xian, Bo Qing, Bo Yan, uh, many siblings, and nephews, and nieces were born, grow, and educated in this uh, 99 room house. As we can see in the building of Ling Lo houses, the overseas Chinese love for their left behind families and their dreams for better life closely linked Singapore with um, these overseas Chinese villages in China. I believe that overseas Chinese houses are shared heritages between uh, Singapore and China. The conservation of overseas Chinese houses is not just for keeping the family roots, 
but also for commemorating the tremendous contributions to these two countries, Singapore and China. And this is end of the second episode for this uh, lecture series. Um, this is the required readings and you can volunteer it from the Central Library of the National University of Singapore. Um, if you can read Chinese, and this is another article written by me. Um, this article treats the migration of Ho Bu Lin from Nan'an to Singapore through the study of the tablets and um, worship in Kulongtong, Singapore. And you can scan the QR code to access the article. And we welcome feedback and comments on our research on the new family. Um, you can contact us uh, via this email, info at onlabo.com. Um, thank you.